have a small tool joint. It's at a meter and a half, meter and a quarter long. In the industry, we call it a sump. One thread here, a different thread here. This is a nice sample, okay? But if you look at this thing, I have a 50-0-50 here, dose meter. If I run around the ends, it's reading constantly 30. And there, oh, look there, 30, oh, 50 dose there, right? Gauge is touching the end, right? I can just scroll it around. And this is positive. We're hoping if magnetism proves itself right, this will be negative. Lo and behold, it's negative, right? We have minus 50. Right? Now, the reason I love this sample is you see all the magnetic dust sticking to the surface over here. And you get a close up of that, the dust is just like. Well, no, you, there's nice little, that's actually a punching from a yoke right there. Yes. And what coil is it that you've got there? WDV14. It's a base coil. There's no AC. Uh, there's no pulsing feature on it. And all I want to do is I want to check what field it is this way. One quick little punch, right? Oh, now did you see our thing left there, right? And lo and behold, it is a little bit lower. Now what happens? Sure. Now we're down to, look at that, four ghosts. So WP doesn't have the output of the 14. The 14 on what I was hitting with there, we were producing about 16 to 17,000 amp turns of output, okay? So now the WP coil is a pulse DC coil, so it's only going boom, boom, boom at 60 hertz, okay? Some people think you can't demag with this. You can demag just fine with it, okay? So now I'm coming over here with my 50-050 again. Pushing out, um, okay, there we go. So I'm getting easily 50 gauss, okay, or 25 gauss. I'm gonna to stand to the side so the magnetic field doesn't hit me. I'm gonna hit it all the way. And I'm gonna, bang. You saw, see how the coil jump? I can't twist it with my thumb. We call that a center seeking force. This coil wanted to jump to the middle of that pipe, okay? Um, wow, out here we're 10 ghosts out here. Did I hammer this baby? Uh, not really, no, it's it's down. Well, I still got 50 ghosts over here, okay? So I'm gonna reduce it a bit. Change the polarity, where's my polarity? Negative, and we'll hit it again. Bang. See what it goes at again now. Oh, look at this. Lo and behold, we're down to 10 ghosts, okay? So 10 ghosts, yep. Close enough 10 ghosts. We'll bring out the coil again, change the polarity, hit it. And, oh, look at that. I'm down to seven ghosts now. When you're changing the polarity, what is that doing to the coil? It's changing the direction the magnetic field it's going in. It could be inducing in a positive field or sucking out a negative field. So we're inducing a negative to positive. We're flopping the field back and forth. So I want you to hold the coil out about here. Okay, farther out, yeah, great. All right, change the polarity and hit it again, boom. Okay, let's see where we're at. Oh, look at that, we're down a bit. Okay, move it out back. Go Still 10 goes, okay? So anyway, there's our beautiful uh, sample.